Hello and welcome to Some Arts. Um, and I'm here talking with Bess Popek, who has a very interesting exhibition that she's putting together at the Somerville Museum. Welcome, Bess. How are you? Good, Dave. Thanks for having me. Uh, what, what can you tell us about our stories, our stuff, our Somerville? I've, I've seen some details on the website. We've had some conversations about it. It sounds really great. What can you plug about it? Well, um, so the Somerville Museum started a community curator program. Um, and so I'm the second of the first cohort of people doing this program. So essentially, the museum put out a call for proposals from the community. And it's not just Somerville, it's anyone can really apply as mm. far as I know. Uh, and it's a small grant that they give you. And so I was one of the first people they chose. And essentially what I pitched to them is this idea, um, which is an idea that I've been kicking around in my head for a long time, that I would like to collect one object from every resident of Somerville, put it in an exhibition, and then invite everyone to come meet each other and talk about their stories surrounding mm. their things. Very cool. And so I've, I've seen some flyers around good. the city That's good. asking for these objects. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what kind of objects have you been getting from people? It's been really interesting. Mm. So the call is, is specific and also not specific. So people have interpreted it in many different ways, which is part of the story I'm trying to tell is, again, how people even hear what I mean when I say, bring me your stuff. Yeah. So there have been collections. I have someone's collection of over 200 rubber duckies, um, <laughs> a collection of vintage hats, um, but then also a lot of Somerville history stuff. Um, it's been very interesting. A lot of prohibition history things mm. have come forward. Many people seem to find bottles in their ceilings when they renovate. And because so much renovation is happening in Somerville right now, a lot of prohibition stuff has sort of been unearthed. That's lately. fascinating. It's really interesting, yeah. And mm. other stuff like more family history, so uh, photographs and sort of school items, a lot of Somerville history, um, sorry, Somerville high school history. Mm. So, and it, it goes on and on. But essentially, the, the many ways and the many like the many people who live here and the many ways that people live in Somerville are as like the many ways people have interpreted the call. And what prompted you to put this show together this way, to connect people and objects in sort of an archeological fashion? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about people's stuff for a long time. I am a collector of things myself, um, the literature and the posters for the show, with all the Pyrex bowls, that's one of my collections. Um, and I basically have realized I'm a museum professional um, in my other life and an artist, and I've just sort of started connecting the dots of all the different things that I do, realizing like it kind of all revolves around stuff, whether it's a museum object or it's a thing I'm making, or it's something that I'm going collecting at flea markets. I'm really fascinated by things and the stories that are in them. Mm. So again, like as a museum person, but also um, as a Somerville resident who's lived here for 17 years and has seen a lot of change in the city, mm -hmm. I'm starting to have that feeling about my own city, that it's an object that's changing and has stories. And so let's try to- Try, try to capture it, try to yeah. document it. Yeah try to extract stories from people. Um, and there are gonna be some um, opportunities for people to connect with the objects mm -hmm. that they're presenting to you and to connect with museum goers. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's a lot of programming around this uh, exhibition, which is really ambitious and exciting. Um, I guess first we should mention that the opening is Thursday, February 14th from six to eight. Mm -hmm. um, is, is, uh, what, is it, a regular like art opening that people can expect cheese and <laughs> free cheese. Yep, it's absolutely a regular opening. There'll be snacks. That and, was a terrible question, but <laughs> No, it's 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 regular in that very way. There'll okay, be good. cheese. Um, snacks, wine, yeah. Um, but all are welcome to come because again, so about 70 people right now have um, loaned things to the show, mm -hmm. which again, my very ambitious goal was every single person in Somerville. So if we scale that back to reality, 70 is pretty good. It's good, um, yeah. And I, if they invite guests, then you're gonna have a packed exactly. opening. Exactly, so the whole idea is, it's kind of, that's the, the feeling of having everyone in the room together is something I'm really looking forward mm -hmm. to. And I'm actually realizing that 
by virtue of doing this, it's happening anyway because people are going to come and, like you said, bring their friends and family. And people who have never met will, will meet each other mm. through this sort of shared connection of stuff. So I think the opening is going to be really special and, and a big celebration, basically, of a lot of people who love this city in many different ways and for many different reasons. Mm. Mm. Um, there is also a curator talk on Saturday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. It'll be you and anybody else? Is it, is it it's just, just yourself? It's just me, <laughs> um, but I essentially, I actually don't see myself as the curator. I'm sort of just the coordinator. I, uh, I'm seeing the city as my storage, collection storage. So again, as a museum person, I make programs for a living and I have wonderful museums that I get to work at that have these beautiful collections of art. Mm -hmm. And then the curators pull out different pieces and make shows and then I make programs around that. This show, I decided to see the city as my storage collection and every house and building, those are the closets inside my storage room. So I wanted the residents of the city to curate. So they did it by choosing what they put in the show. So that's what I'm gonna talk about basically during the curator talk is that process, what that's like, the many, many conversations and house visits I've gotten to mm. do by virtue of this process, new friends that I've made. Um, this city is amazing <laughs> and mm. there's just so many people doing mm. such amazing things. And that's the some of the stuff again that I wanna bring out in this in this whole project. Is there is there like a a big range between like certain groups in Somerville that you're getting objects from? Is it mostly a certain age group? Is it, is it, uh, are you seeing more of that age group than others? That's an interesting question. Part of the work was to get the word out and to get the word out to everyone, which is very hard mm. work and consistently um, emailing, you know, neighborhood community groups, all the community organizations, hitting all the listservs and the high school and et cetera, because there's so many pockets in mm -hmm. Somerville, um, different religious communities as well I, I reached out to. So I essentially wanted to make sure I like cast the widest net I could and then whomever's interested, that's who comes back. So there are, um, it's, it's actually a really diverse range of ages and people, multi-generally mm. rational families as well mm -hmm. as people who just moved to Somerville very recently. Um, and so it's not, it's consistent, like a lot of the Somerville High School history, for example, is not surprisingly from older generations of Somerville. But then there's a student who's in the high school right now who brought me a Frisbee, although he told me it's not a Frisbee, it's a disc, because he plays disc golf. No, he plays, <laughs> gosh, oh my gosh. Disc golf, that no, sounds, no, it's not <laughs> that sounds cool, I'd play, I'd play disc golf. Okay. Um, anyway, he plays a sport with a frisbee, but it's called a frisbee-like object, not yeah. a not a frisbee. Okay, <laughs> come to the show and <laughs> see what I'm talking about. Um, but the range is really again like if people felt compelled, and that's to me what's also really interesting mm. is some people who I know really well who helped me sort of get the word out are like, oh, I don't want to participate. I just want to help you, versus others who I've never seen or met before came with some of the most incredible stuff. I've ever seen, so it's really been interesting. That's that sounds amazing. <laughs> um, and the something that I'm excited about um, Saturday, March 9th, the unofficial Somerville Antiques Roadshow. Mm -hmm. um, that that sounds ver like I have this picture in my head of what that's going to look like, and I I'd like to to know what is the picture in your head about what that's going to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I'm a big fan of the Antiques Roadshow, the show, um, which I, for obvious reasons, I think it's pretty clear I'm into this stuff. Um, what we're going to do in Somerville unofficially is um, invite members of the community to bring an object and we will have on hand the Somerville Museum director, Evelyn Battinelli, who's also a treasure trove in her mind of all the history of Somerville. She's great. Yeah, it's amazing. So she, um, Barbara Ma Mangum, um, who also is on the um, Somerville Museum board, who's a conservator, um, and some other local historians will be on hand to look at your stuff and tell you about it. It won't be based on um, monetary value the way that the television show is. Mm -hmm. It's much more about, again, the sort of whole idea of the show, which is about like, 
you know, the stories behind it and what this looks like and where did you get this and let's talk about it. Mm. Um, and oh, and I don't know what this is, but maybe you should talk to so-and-so exactly. who has a store on Broadway. Exactly. Yeah. And if people are interested in straight up appraisals, we um, have a few people that we can send them to. Some, again, Somerville um, located appraisal um, independent companies. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, and this isn't all the programming around this, um, mm -hmm. but uh, there is something going on at the end of March, uh, a community talk-in, mm -hmm. which uh, where people, it's a storytelling opportunity, right, for, for the objects and, yeah. and for the owners of the objects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be mm -hmm. the closing celebration. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially everyone who has a piece in the show, so again, that's upwards of 70 people at this point. Um, people are still bringing stuff, by the way. You could bring something, Dave, if oh, you wanted to, by right. the way. Is there a deadline? Um, no, I mean, there was, but now I'm not saying no if people are contacting <laughs> me late. So All right, if you I, still want to get something yeah, in. Like, There's still time. We don't open until the 14th. Um, <laughs> but essentially, everyone who's put something in the show, I'm inviting them to come back on the last day and tell the story of their object. One thing I've done when I took the objects in, um, I had everyone write a few sentences about the object and the story on a little card, mm. which I'll include in the exhibition in some way, but there's nothing like actually hearing people tell you. One of the objects I have is a wedding dress from a Somerville wedding um, from 1873, and I have the also marriage license for that same wow. wedding. And the dress is only the top half with a little note in it that says we had to cut the bottom half off <laughs> to make clothes. And that wow. story, there's a lot there, right? Uh -huh. To hear the granddaughter of that woman who's that, whose dress that was tell you these stories, mm -hmm. there's absolutely nothing like that. So every object in the show has mm -hmm. that depth that weight. to it. Yeah. yeah so um, that's what the 31st will be about, just sort of celebrating again through sharing and meeting each other and talking. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, this is exciting. So. If there is uh, anything about this that you're curious about, and there's a lot to be curious about, you can go to SomervilleMuseum.org to get more information about our stories, our stuff, our Somerville. Um, is there anything else, Bess? I think we kind of touched on everything. We did. I just would encourage everybody, please come on through. Um, the schedule for when the museum is open is also on the website. Well, thank you for coming in. And uh, yeah, we look forward to this show. It's going to be exciting. Great.